Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Malaysia. I'm in Kuala Lumpur and my local friend suggested me to come to this market. So we're gonna check it out. This is how it looks. And the thing is, I have zero battery on my phone. So that's the first challenge uh, that I'm gonna face today. I have to find someone who could help me charge my phone because I have no idea how to get back home without it. So that's the first challenge that I have to face. Then I'm thirsty, then I'm hungry. So those are the three things. Plus this camera is not charged at all. So I'm gonna run out of battery. So we gotta do these things fast. If we want to record all the things. So I'm gonna, no, I'm, gonna I'm gonna leave here, wait. This is, this is just madness. So the thing is, this is the speed we can take up here. All right, so apparently, just for you to know, this market happens only once a week. This is Wednesday. And this is one of the biggest night markets that you can go to. And I... <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <laughs> hey, don't be shy about it. <laughs> All right, so a bit better than in Thailand, right? Like in Thailand, you go out with your camera and people be like, no, 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 please, please, just get away from my face. And over here, it's like slightly better, I would say. I'm really, really happy about that. And then, well, there is no chance of me finding any battery over here. I mean, any charging point. Basically, electricity is not connected to these li little selling points. All right, let's get a juice first. That will calm me down. <laughs> and then if I get my juice, look, until we do that, I'll show you what is there to buy. Wait, maybe this side is a bit more convenient so that we get to see all these little shops selling pastries, uh, coconut water, I would say. <laughs> Uh, what is it? Cheese? No, some kind of uh, chestnut des dessert, mango and whatnot, sausages, uh, jewelry. So you basically can find anything that you want. I feel pretty safe. I don't feel any danger looking at me. Oh, here is a shop that would be able to help me. I mean, they must have electricity. I just have to move past by this gentleman and we're gonna ask this guy whether he can whether he can help me with charging my phone for a few minutes and sorry about it hello sir excuse me I have a weird question uh, my battery is dead could I leave my phone with you for like 20 minutes thank you I'm gonna come back in like thank you thank you thank you Thank you. So we gotta remember what is it? Healthcare. It's written healthcare and there is a KFC sign as well. So I think that's gonna be the location where I left my phone. And uh, I really hope this guy won't do anything with it. But I mean, that's the way you gotta, you kinda gotta trust people, right? If you wanna get something in life, you will need a little bit of of trust. The other lesson that I will teach you tonight is about energy levels. My phone's battery is dead. My own battery is dead. <laughs> My camera's battery is nearly dead. And well, boys and girls, we are still out on the streets. And that's what you do. If you feel like your battery, battery, <laughs> I cannot speak. <laughs> if you feel like your battery is a little low and maybe there are some excuses because not having your phone not having your camera not having your mental sharpness is a very good excuse not to do any of this but if you take the extra step and if you just go out and put a little bit more energy into it you might as well find some energy and talking to you this camera definitely does that and being out here with um, thousands of people <laughs> uh, is definitely a source of good energy and we definitely need that right now after that obviously you go home and you sleep like a dead person but hey that's part of it so where is my juice that i'm eager to get at this point 
I'm, I'm dying of dying of thirst here. All right, no tea. I want some, want some real juice. You know, it's like very, very holy moly. It's very crowded. All right, so that's for the introduction. I got to Malaysia yesterday night, and today I met this local friend of mine. But he went home. I mean, this is home for him, as he says. But he lives in in the UK, so he had to go back tonight. So now I'm here all alone, and this feeling of being alone, even though there was a person, that was a person today that I met, and he's local, and it felt like so good to be welcomed by a guy who actually lives here oh this is a perfect spot so even though it felt so good now i feel super alone because he's gone <laughs> so i gotta figure it out hi good evening uh hi. do you have lemon in it uh, lemon with the is sugar cane. ah yeah yeah this one this one how much is this six okay just one second i'll i'll get it for you so this is just the sugar cane and lemon, nothing else? Yeah. Perfect, thank you. One second. I might just have like 50, is that possible that you change it? Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to put some money in my pocket so that it gets easier, don't have to pull out my wallet every time. Alright, so we're gonna get this juice. 44, thank you very much, thank you. Alright, let's just put the money away. And I'm from Hungary. Thank you, thank you. Alright, now we got the juice. Try to open it with one hand. Wait, wait, yeah. Let's not spill it over everything because it's like the most sugary thing you can imagine. Yeah. Alright. Well, if that counts as a real juice, sugarcane juice, uh, my biggest problem with sugarcane in most countries is that they sell it without the lemon in it. And I just love it with the lemon. And so usually I don't buy it because without the lemon, it's just, I would say it's just too sweet. But with the lemon, usually it goes pretty well. <laughs> These guys are super interested in my vlogging skills, I guess. Okay. So here's a little spot where we can uh, stop for a second. Oh, that was a real juice place. Ah, oh, man. Okay, whatever. We're gonna drink this first and then get the, get the juice after that. All right, so I'll stop here for a second just to taste this sugarcane juice. Exactly, that's how I love it, with the lemon. Without the lemon, it's not even worth it. But with the lemon, yeah, now this is gonna be a good source of energy. It's full of sugar. So we only needed that, right? And then I will find something to eat as well. I cannot, cannot drink with this beer on, beard on. All right. Um, I really should have shaved, but like I just didn't have the time. That's why I'm tired. But hey, we are exploring. We are making progress. Today I went to like a viewpoint of the city. Lovely, lovely experience. We went to a cave with Sam. That was also a very good experience. Then he left. So I'm, I'm, um, I'm meeting this, meeting this uh, new culture, little by little, and. Um, the thing with, with uh, Malaysia was that all the people that I met in the last two weeks, I told them that, hey, I might go to Malaysia or whatever, whatnot. And then, and then they were like, no, no, Malaysia is like, ah, we've been there, but it's a bit boring and there's not much things to do. And it's like, yeah, if you really want to entertain yourself, you can do that for a week. So I had really big, like, concerns coming here because like what's gonna happen how am I gonna deal with it will it be entertaining enough you know but now I'm here and it's full of joy <laughs> full of joy and happiness and everyone's smiling everyone is very very nice to me actually and um, surprisingly out of all the countries that are non-english countries Malaysia is the first country that I really feel comfortable talking English because people are 
completely okay with it and they do speak it they do understand it all the all the cab drivers all the taxi like the taxi taxi drivers the bus drivers i mean if you know what i mean that's that's something if local bus drivers speak english that speaks for itself right so that's a really lovely and cool experience before you would think this is the camera camera flickering no this light is flickering in real time and this guy over here he's working with this all night long i cannot imagine i mean it's really pulling the attention and maybe that's what they want but i don't know how this guy does not go crazy like with this i would i would like leave this job first minute i was presented with the option no so like that that was crazy to see all right what what do we have here crab we have um some crab for sale over here and oh man oh, how good, look at that how good that looks look at that all right let's let's go a bit more if you're an asian person and you live in any of these countries that i visited in the past few weeks please let me know please let me know in the comments what do you do with the trash what do you do with the trash man here is this night market with probably two kilometers of selling points and i haven't seen one single trash can i'm holding this piece of plastic as it was my life holding on to it what do you do with it please please for god's sake please let me know in the comments what do you do with the trash here because there is no place to deposit it right so i'm just walking with it hoping for some trash can or a bin there is there is none none so regarding food i tonight i want something something very very healthy now if it turns out to be something very unhealthy then uh, you're gonna laugh a lot but this sugarcane juice was the third sugary shake that i drank today because i had one in the morning one watermelon and then one in the afternoon same watermelon and i didn't realize that they put sugar in it as like an extra and it's not enough for them like it's not sweet enough for them so i had so much sugar in the past two days that somehow i just gotta like bring it back bring it back for myself and so that's why we are looking for some healthier lifestyle i would say now um, this uh, traffic jam is not that healthy but i mean we gotta get through this and this is all part of it at some points uh, you feel like amazing smelling food and sometimes those kind of things that are like unexplicable for me like it's just like I cannot I cannot understand and cannot comprehend how anyone could work next to food that smells so bad but hey I'm, I'm I, I don't know about it I'm not an expert on food I just love like good food and we are looking for some good food let's see cheese oh cheese potato man i i'm i'm in love with this thing i can for 16 all right all right let's let's do one of these one cheese potato because this this i love this hi good evening yeah yeah, yeah. what do you have uh this one is uh, no meat this fish is okay, no meat this fish is beef and beef yes do you eat spicy i do eat spicy then this spicy can... beef looks yes, very this one very... is our popular menu okay i'm i'm gonna go with that okay so this one do yeah. you want additional cheese this one is we put additional cheese on it on then top we, yes on top of it then we take it to bake and then after bake the cheese will be uh very smell nice and bouncy all right, let's do that. Let's do that. That's the additional. Okay, so uh, yeah. spicy beef with cheese bake. Yep, perfect. That's. Yes, there will be. Nineteen. Just one second. One second. Try to. This is fifty. I'm still getting used to your money because I'm. 
very unfamiliar with it. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, how much time do I need? Uh, around eight minutes. Eight minutes. All right. Um, I'll be. No, no, no. Please keep it. Thank you. Okay. Go around and check it. Okay. Eight minutes, and I check it. Please keep that. Keep that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Is it free? Yes. What is it? What is it? Melon, melon tea. Wow. Okay. Thank you. What is it? <laughs> no worries. Nothing. It's nothing. Thank you. Okay. So, melon tea. Okay. That's very simple. It doesn't. It doesn't add so much sugar. Everything is so sugary and it's good. It's good. Yeah. Ah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Where do you put the trash? Can I give it to you? Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, I'll come back in like five minutes. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. See ya. All right. So. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she likes my DJI. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like I was so down. I don't know if you can notice, like if you, if you like just go back to the beginning of this video, of course you start these videos pushing yourself to be a bit energetic and like giving off the good energy and I don't know, people, people obviously love that. But I was so down starting this video, but hey, here I am and uh, these, these interactions just cheer me up so much and let me think about it. Potato, beef and some cheese. How healthy is that? You tell me. You tell me how healthy is that because we were looking for some healthy things but I knew the minute I saw something something good <laughs> I had to I had to go with that. Alright, so no I'm 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 in love with those. What is this? Hey. Good evening. How you doing? Um what is it that you do with the with the with the, what is it? Uh, with the strawberry. Do you cook it? Yeah, with the sugar. With sugar? Yes. Wow. Do you have something? Oh, that, that's the finished product? Yes. Oh, can I, can I have a look at it? Okay, thank you. Sorry. It's just very weird for me. All right. But you don't... You don't, you don't cook it. You just like dip it in it, right? You, how, how long do you cook it? Around 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Wow. Alright, well, I'll try another night because today I had too much sugar, but I mean, amazing idea. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Alright, I've never seen such a thing, but uh, I mean, I guess it's like caramel and then they just put it on top some fruit. Quite understandable, I mean, people do that. With uh, with apples and whatnot. All right, maybe I'm just like new to this culture of, of food. I will seriously. I mean, the only lucky thing about this market is that it's so linear that you cannot get lost. So I know that I came this way, and so if I go back the other way, I will find eventually the places that I have to pick up my phone at and that I have to pick up my food at right so uh, here are a lot like actually everything that you can imagine you can buy on this market and I know a market like this does not fully represent a country or a nation or even a group of people I understand that but here if people come to market they eat they spend a little money they get something that's valuable for them that makes them happy. So usually if you go to market, you're gonna meet happier people. You're gonna meet people that are interested in little little things. Because if you go to a market like this, it's um it's too hectic to be to be sad about things, too hectic to be stressed about life. So basically what you do is you come to market like this and you're gonna meet all those people who are a bit more a bit more happy at least at this moment right I mean on this night it's a special day because it happens only once a week it's um <laughs> I gotta I gotta slow down a little bit because 
it's always very funny if I move with the crowd obviously there will be two people in front of me who will hear my little monologue that I'm telling you for probably five minutes that I'm like obviously actively actively spending walking off the dam so they'll be like every time I say something about them they just like take a look back thank you sir thank you uh, and they'll be like oh did you just say that <laughs> did you just say that and sometimes I feel I, I feel a little like discomfort because of it but I mean what can you do okay this is the end of the market and uh, I think I think that's it that's it. So if you want to look back at it, it looks like this. A full row of, uh, of little selling points. And this is the first on this side selling vegetables. And you've seen everything that is needed to be seen. Um, all right, let's go back. And I think by this time, okay. Avocados, two pieces for 10. 10 is supposed to be, okay. Not a bad price, but I've seen better. I've seen better. Um, all right, so by this time, if I get back to the place where they are making my, making my um, potato, I think they'll be ready. They'll be ready with it. And after that, we'll see if that is enough to satisfy my hunger. I would be very, very happy if it did, but then we're gonna see, we're gonna see. I spent 20 on that. You're gonna see how much 20 is because I don't know off the top of my head, but hey, it's fine. It's good and we are here for the experience. Two days ago, I met a person and this person told me about how she travels the world uh, trying to experience some kind of richness because she said that if you experience how rich people live you're gonna be able to relate to it way more and way better and I couldn't agree with this more like this is just so true you know like if you always keep yourself in the situation of oh I'm broke I have to go to the cheapest place and I, obviously I do like I, I go to like broke hostels and stuff and sometimes it's a really bad experience and sometimes you learn a lot out of that experience I get that but she said sometimes if you have a little money spend it on some luxurious experience and don't care about it like don't think about it anymore like don't think that it was a wasted money because the experience that you're having for that probably five times more money is 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 like uncomparable for other experiences because you're gonna experience something that only rich people experience and that is an amazing investment because your mentality will be changed by this experience as well and it's very 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 important she said and I was like yeah that's that's something to say so I'm really like trying to make these experiences as original as possible. And we are back. Let's see if I can sit down with this uh, potato that I'm getting, if it's ready at all. All right, let's see. Let's see how we're doing. My brother is making the sales here. Hello, hello. How are we? Is this mine? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Is this mine? <laughs> thank you. Perfect. Ah, uh, you can have a seat. And can I have a seat here? here? Ah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's amazing. We can we can sit down over here. Have our little dinner. In this spot. Hello brother. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna make this into wait I'll put it down a little bit. That's what that's what we need to see is the food. Alright. So they sell it in this little box and it's very juicy man, wow. 
Where is the cheese from the top? I don't know. All right, I don't know if, if... Is this the cheese that you... All right, maybe it was the cheese. All right, we're gonna see. Let's try this. Doesn't fit in the frame. All right, let's see. Potato and beef. Simple potato taste. I'm curious about the cheese and the beef. Cheese is all right. And then very little beef. All right, not so bad, not so bad. I like it. The first time I had this um, baked potato with cheese and stuff was in um, was in Serbia and in Belgrade. I have a place and I just love that place. Like basically how they do it is like 10 out of 10. Now this I would say like seven out of 10, but still good meal. I, I think I, and it's like, very juicy, you also love that. Mm. All right. The cab driver who took me here, he was a Muslim guy, and he said he has never been here to this market because he believes it's not so halal. Brother, sorry, is the the cheese, the cheese cover is on the, on top, or like is this is this the extra cheese? Yes, the uh, yes the mousy one is extra cheese. Okay, 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 all right. Yes, this so one. this one. All right, thank you. I just didn't know if it should cover it or not. Yes, it was kind of chewy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, so maybe that's an additional info to this market that they that they, I mean, Malaysia being. Majority of people here in Malaysia are Muslim. So, having said that, some people consider it this market not so halal, so they never come here. But I mean, you can never go wrong with this beef, I think. There is a lot of different options. But I mean, I'm not an expert on that either. All right, I'm gonna finish this meal. See you after that. All right, thank you guys, thank you. It was very good, bye bye. See you, see you. All right, we are, we are done with our dinner. These people were so nice. I mean, to be honest, the food I experienced a little bit better. It was still very good. But I mean, the way they communicate and the way they smile, and the way they wanted to help me, amazing, amazing people. So I, I really, really love that. If anyone is like this nice to you, you gotta be just as nice. And you better be nice, right? Should I have another juice? I don't know, man, I don't know. All right, not yet, not yet. But like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for that experience a bit more. I could eat a little bit more, no dessert. But maybe some some meat would be nice. A little bit of meat. Just like maybe like one piece of a chicken or something. But we'll have to find a place place for that. Right, it's very very hard to navigate between so many people. Alright, so thing is Ah oh, that's that's gonna be a good place I think. Yeah. Can get a little is this chicken over here? Maybe they do uh, oh this is all fried. Fried no I'm I'm looking for some some uh, grilled food maybe. Alright. Pancakes, this is how I think it's like pot thai, yeah I think that's pot thai. Yeah. All right. So 
Ah, something like this. Something like this we are looking for. All right. Pork belly, Australian lamb, seven, black pepper beef. All right, let's go with this. Hi, good evening. Uh, can I get two beef? Yeah. Thank you. Spicy? Spicy, yeah. It's spicy. Spicy, yeah. Thank you. Hello, Mama. Alright. How long? Uh, one minute. One minute, okay, perfect. Alright, alright. Then, right? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. So. I think I'm fine without the bag. Do I need the bag? Maybe just the paper bag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's enough. I'm gonna eat it right away, anyways. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye bye. All right, that's all I needed. That's all I needed. Let's find a little piece somewhere. We are close to my phone, or are we not? Not yet. I think not yet. All right, so we leave this crowd for a little second. Maybe here. Yes, navigate our way out of it. All right, I feel like gonna be a bit more peaceful back here without all the crowd maybe we look at the normal way of, of uh, the streets how things usually are over here and I'll try to eat this at the same time it's a big like a big portion of, of beef I think like this is definitely a deal that was worth it I mean who knows you tell me It is spicy. It's not. It's not like hot spicy. It's not burning your mouth at all. You just feel that there is a bunch of spice on it. I like it. It's very good. It's also. I feel like now this is, even though spicy, I feel like this eating this is healthy. So let's hope for that. I gotta find my phone. And I gotta walk to the other side of the market. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do that. I finish this stick, these two sticks, and then I go grab my phone. How far it could be? No idea, actually. All right, to be completely honest, I expected it to be a bit, <laughs> to be a bit cheaper, like just a little cheaper than like other places, you know? Because this is the price that you get in the city as well so I was like you might get a better deal because it's a market and people do it like only once a week and it's like a big thing so might be pushing down the prices a little but no no not at all so I would recommend you come in if you want to experience this like the whole whole nature of it the, the insane amount of people the smell of food and the, the whole vibe of it right so come for that but not for like finding a good deal because it's not any cheaper as I concluded I mean I've only been here in this city for probably a bit over 24 hours but I feel like downtown it's nearly the same price so you don't get like a better price and things but you get this experience you get this feeling you get this vibe and it's night time, it's good weather, you're hanging out with mostly local people, so I feel like it is worth it, it's definitely worth it. And here he comes, the savior of the night. Let's see if he has my phone still. Hello sir, did you charge my phone? <laughs> 
Thank you so much. You saved my life. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. So 20, 27 percent. That's that's actually amazing. This guy literally saved my life tonight because I don't know how else would I go home. Now we still have another challenge because I still have to find Wi-Fi. But I mean that's the smaller issue I feel like. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to some shop and maybe find find some Wi-Fi to order an Uber. That's the other thing, you know, like of course and I say this all the time, in those cities in which in which it's manageable to use public transport, do it. Like very good decision. Especially in Europe, like maybe you don't even have another choice. Like public transport is good, it's connected to to Google Maps, so you won't get lost. It's convenient, it's fast, faster than, than a cab. But over here, Kuala Lumpur is such a big city that like getting from here to the point where I'm living would be longer and wouldn't be worth it at all taking the public transport and I felt like this was the same case in the afternoon like you would have to walk so much and I don't have internet on my phone and you would get lost and you would have to ask for directions 10 times and sometimes it's not worth it sometimes it's just easier I get it that it's not like the most authentic way of experiencing sorry guys thank you um, but I've been walking after these people for the past 10 minutes probably they they got bored of me <laughs> of my voice or whatever um, but yeah what I'm saying is that sometimes it's the smarter idea to take to take a taxi and I feel like today is that day today it saved me a lot of time and I think it's way more convenient especially if you want to see like a lot of things in a day and if you don't have enough time to spend on sitting on a bus or finding a metro or looking for a station it's just definitely the better idea to order some cabs and especially this part of the world it's not not the end of the world like it's you're gonna pay like maybe five euros for a ride and i know it's like it could it can be painful believe me i know but hey sometimes sometimes it's necessary sometimes it's the better option and it saves you a lot of time a lot of energy and yeah the only problem is having that connection I prefer not to have like data when I'm out in like countries that I'm visiting because it's just giving you a much better experience it, it's it, it's like basically forcing you to interact with interact with people because you don't have another chance you basically have to ask for directions you will have to ask a person to share their Wi-Fi or give you hotspot or whatever and it's just it's just an extra touch it's just a better taste plus as everyone else I mean maybe not everyone else but I'm definitely addicted to my phone like it's just always in my hand and hey if I don't have data the only thing I use it for is to take a picture good deal so whenever I'm out, whenever I'm on the street, I uh, don't get to use it. And that's an amazing deal for me. So that's why I prefer not to have any data if I travel. Yeah, sometimes it's easier to do it with that. Like, I mean, Google Translate and stuff like that. But I just, I just like it this way. All right, so this market goes on for another 300 meters, I guess. Same stuff, I mean jewelry and and clothes and food most importantly you get a lot of food a lot of food a lot of food a lot of clothes my camera is all over the place all right so yeah food and clothes and people <laughs> and that's it nothing else maybe some accessories um, phone cases and whatnot. Yeah, my camera's nearly dying, so it could happen any time now. But hey, it's the end of the market, so I'm gonna I'm gonna walk to the end of it. Is this a hair saloon? What is it? Let me just check it quickly. Mole remover. What the fuck? 
I have no idea what this is. I need your help again because I have no idea what this place is. Wait, do they do ear cleaning and stuff as well? I have no idea. Like, look at this. You have these pictures. But I don't know what happens. This just looks very, oh, very uncomfortable to watch. Holy moly. They've just done it with a, with a woman over there. I, I feel very uncomfortable watching this. So I'm gonna keep, keep moving, keep moving. For a minute I got interested because it's something very strange that you don't usually see happening on the street, right? But then I was like, okay, maybe it's just too much. Too much to watch, like, unnecessary images into my brain. All right. So I think that's the end of it, right? If you can, you can see over there that I think there's nothing else at the end of it. But hey, if I walk there, I get to say that I covered the whole place. And yeah, some buns over here. And nuts and sweets. Toys for kids t-shirts juice now it's a bubble tea and fruits again uh, durian durian is killing me man like the smell of durian makes me makes me reconsider traveling here every time <laughs> like it's just so bad like durian the smell of durian is is basically up there as the as the worst smell in in your life like it's crazy bad okay so this was a night market here in Kuala Lumpur that happens only one time a week and I really enjoyed exploring it now this was the end point so there is nothing left to see and I really hope you got the excitement and the experience with me you could experience what I experienced um, I had a good good dinner I had a good laugh, it gave me so much energy and it gave me back my confidence that I was lacking today and actually I'm very happy that I came, I was a bit like hesitant about it because it was raining a lot today and it ended up being the best weather. Uh, tomorrow they say it's gonna be like 33, 35 Celsius degrees which could feel like 39, 40 because of the humidity so let's see how I deal with that. But that's not my problem. That's tomorrow's, tomorrow me's problem, right? <laughs> that's it about today's video. That was me, a night market in Kuala Lumpur. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna see you in the next one.